Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Michael. Welcome back. In this video, I have compiled a pretty awesome list of 10 productivity focused tips and tricks for your iPhone. I think you're really going to enjoy these. On a quick side note, it's uh, been a minute since I've posted on this channel, and that's because I am now the official YouTube guy for the iDownload blog YouTube channel. So if you want more Apple-related content for your subscription feed, and if you just want to see more of my beautiful face, uh, make sure to go over and subscribe over there. But for now, let's go ahead and get into some awesome tips and tricks. All right, so number one, I use this one multiple times per day as I'm the kind of person that has something come to my mind, and I just want to write it down instantly so I don't forget it. So I use the notes app on my iPhone and you may think the fastest way to jot something down is like most people do to find the notes app and then create a new note and then just start typing. But there actually is a much faster way to do this. So inside settings on your iPhone, you want to open control center settings right here. And there is a notes toggle that you can add. So add notes to control center. And then if you open control center and click this, it'll take you into a brand new note just like this. And you can jot down whatever is on your mind. It's especially useful if you're in another app. So let's say you're just browsing Twitter casually and then something comes to your mind that you wanna write down. Open Control Center, click this, and within two seconds you can start writing down a note. So tip number two is a super fast way to copy, paste, and undo. So once you have your text selected, you may think the only way to copy it is to hit that tiny copy button right there. But if you do a pinch in with three fingers, you can actually just copy your text. And once you get used to this, you can do it very quickly. So as you can see here with my text selected, all I have to do is pinch in with three fingers and it says copy there at the top. And now if I wanna paste, I'll just create a new line. All I have to do is flick out with three fingers and then it pastes the text that I had copied. And then if I wanna undo my last action, all I have to do is take three fingers and swipe from the right to left to undo just like that. Okay, number three, I really love this one. And once you learn it, you'll never stop using it on your iPhone. So if you ever have a list and you wanna select multiple items, I'll open mail here just for an example. I have my junk folder with all my junk mail here. So if I wanted to select multiple messages here to delete them, you may think you have to hit edit and then check each individual message. But there's actually a gesture you can do to select every single item in a list. All you have to do is use two fingers, start on the first item and then drag down. As you can see, just like this, it starts selecting every single item. All right, our fourth productivity tip is for anyone that uses the Reminders app. This one is pretty cool. So at the beginning of my day, I like to write out all my reminders of stuff I have to do. And sometimes I like to associate a time with these reminders. And the cool thing about iOS is you can have natural language in your reminders and you don't actually have to go into a menu to set the time of your reminder. So let me show you exactly what I mean. So if I open up reminders here, let's say I want to have a video finished by 5 p.m. I can hit new reminder and I can start typing video finished today at 5 p.m. And as you can see there, the Reminders app was smart enough to pull out today at 5 p.m. And then above the keyboard here, I can just tap on the suggested time. And as you can see, it fills in all the time and date details just like that. So this is really awesome if you wanna write out a bunch of reminders, but you don't wanna hit this little I and you don't wanna fiddle with the date and time, just type it out natural language and the iPhone will figure it out for you. So our next productivity tip is inside the calendar app. Now it is a super fast way to add a new event to your day. So as you can see, I'm in the day view here and I'm viewing it by the hour. Now, most people think the only way to add a new event is to hit the plus icon at the top of the screen and then start adding all the details for your event. But you can actually just press and hold on where you want your event to be and you can add it a lot faster. So if I wanna have an event from five to 6 p.m., all I have to do is press and hold right here and I can move it just like this. So at 5 p.m., release my thumb and then it'll ask for a title just like that. So I'll say video. And just like that, I've added an event a lot quicker to my calendar. So our next tip is pretty useful. If you have calculated anything inside of the calculator app and you need to get this digit out of the app and say you're moving between apps and you wanna send that calculation in messages or something, you don't actually have to open calculator and copy and paste it. All you have to do is haptic touch on the calculator icon and you can hit copy last result just like that. So our next tip is inside mail and most people don't even know that you can do this. So here is my junk folder. I don't wanna show you my personal email, so I'm just using this as an example. But as you can see, the body of each email, the preview is only two lines. So it shows the uh, main subject and then it shows what it's regarding. And then as you can see, you only get two lines showing what is in the email. You can actually tweak this to get more information on each preview of the email. So inside of settings, this is mail settings right here 
where it says preview, you can change this all the way up to five lines. And now if I open up mail again, as you can see, I see way more preview of each email. So I think five lines is a little bit too much. So let's change it to uh, three lines here and get one extra and that looks good. So now we can get a little bit more detail in each email. So next up is for anyone who uses Safari. So pretty much all of you. So if you are power browsing and you want to power all the way down to the bottom of a website, so let's say you're uh, reading an awesome article here on iDownload blog. I recognize those hands. I wonder who that is. Um, so let's just say if you want to go all the way down to the bottom of the website, you don't actually have to flick and flick and flick. You can grab this little slider here that lives on the right hand side and you can drag it all the way down to the bottom of the screen, just like that. I use this one pretty much every day and it's very useful. All right, so next up, this one is for Safari again. So if you read a lot of articles and you use the reader mode a lot, you have to hit this little icon here at the bottom left and then hit show reader and then you're in kind of a nicer UI to read your articles. But if you find yourself doing this pretty much every time you're on the web, there is a way to enable this by default. So I'll show you. So I'll turn it off now just for an example. I'll open up settings and this is inside of Safari settings right here. So click on Safari and then scroll down to reader and then turn on all websites. And now whenever you load a website that's an article, I'll just refresh it here. As you can see, it defaults to the reader view just like this. So this is uh, really nice uh, for people who read a lot of articles in Safari like me. So my last tip, this one is probably my favorite feature that Apple has added in iOS in years. So inside of notes, if I open it up here and I'm gonna create a new note, if you click this camera icon above the keyboard, you can click on scan text. Now all you have to do is point your camera at any handwritten text and it's going to be able to pull out that handwritten text. So I'm gonna aim it at my book here and as you can see, it's able to pull out all the handwritten text. I can hit insert just like this and then it has converted my handwritten text right into my note. This works really, really well and it's awesome if you wanna scan a phone number or an email or if you're at work and you're being super productive like the theme of this video and you wanna get all of your whiteboard notes into your Apple Notes, it works really fast. So I definitely recommend using the scan text feature. Uh, this again is probably my favorite feature in years. So now I want you guys to comment down below telling me what your favorite productivity tip in this video was. Also, if this video was helpful, make sure to drop a like on it. And if you want more content from me, make sure to go and subscribe to the iDownload blog YouTube channel and you can see more of me over there. So that's gonna do it for me. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Michael. I'll see you in the next video.